This quick tutorial will walk you through the configuration steps needed to set up Falcon BMS display extraction for the right and left MFDs using RTT Remote. The relevant files can be found in the Falcon BMS install directory, Tools, RTT Remote. If you wish to extract the MFDs on your current monitor, or perhaps a second monitor on the same system that is run in Falcon BMS, only the client software is needed. The default client configuration looks like this. To edit this configuration, open the file called rttclient.ini. Here I'm using Notepad, but you may use whatever text editor you are comfortable with. At the bottom of the file are the default settings for the left and right MFDs. The X and Y values establish where the top left corner of the MFD will start. The W and H settings seen for the right MFD assign the width and height of the MFD in pixels. Shut down the client by right-clicking the toolbar icon and selecting Shut Down RTT Client. Note that it may be hidden in the Hidden Icons widget. Adding a W and H parameter and setting both to 500 for the left MFD will result in a 500 by 500 pixel MFD, similar to the right MFD. You can set these to any size you like, but it's best to keep them square. To put the MFDs side by side across the top of the primary monitor, in this case 500 pixels from the left side and 100 pixels between them, I'd set the X and Y values for each MFD like this. If I wanted to move both MFDs to the bottom of the monitor, I just change the Y value of each so the upper left top corner of the MFD starts 500 pixels from the bottom of the screen. Note that the left MFD is behind the toolbar. This can be changed by adding the on top parameter to the left MFD. To understand the positioning of the MFDs, let's talk quickly about monitor setup. Bringing up the display settings shows the monitor layout as well as the display resolutions. In my case, I have three monitors connected. Monitor 2 is the primary display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440. That means there are 2560 pixels from the left to right and 1440 pixels from the top to bottom with the origin being at the top left of the screen. My second monitor is above my primary monitor. It also has a resolution of 2560 by 1440. However, for the purpose of the RTT client, the origin starts at the bottom left, so Y values would be negative and X values would be positive. If my second monitor was to the left of my primary monitor for the purposes of the RTT client, the origin would be at the top right in that case, X values would be negative and Y values would be positive. Should the second monitor be to the right of the primary, X and Y values would be positive, but the X value would be the primary monitor's X resolution plus the offset number of pixels into the second monitor. Now, in my case, I wanted the MFDs to be on the monitor I have directly above my primary monitor. In that case, X values stay the same, but Y values will be negative. I would enter the values as shown, which gives me this result. Remember that the values you enter correspond to the top left corner of the MFD. If you don't have a second monitor on your machine, but perhaps you have a laptop, you can easily run the MFDs remotely there. To prepare, make a copy of the RTT remote directory on your desktop and edit the rttclient.ini as follows. Set the network value to one, Comment out the frames per second parameter. Enter the IP address of the machine that would be running Falcon BMS. If you don't know how to find your IP address, and assuming you're on Windows 10, hit the Windows key plus X on your keyboard. Choose Windows PowerShell. At the prompt, type ipconfig. Your IP address will be shown. Enter that number into the host field. 
Set basic parameters for X and Y positions of the two MFDs. You can most likely use the values I've entered here. Save the file, close it, then transfer the RTT remote directory to your laptop however you see fit. Here I'm using a USB drive. Here I copy the RTT remote directly to the desktop. Double click the RTT client 64 executable to start the client. From the Falcon BMS launch page, start up the RTTR server. Now fire up Falcon BMS and enjoy having your MFDs easily readable at all times. If this video was helpful to you, please strike a like and let me know in the comments. Until next time, I'm Maine Jason. Thanks for watching.